I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. Okay, this is continuing Isaiah, this will be chapter 46, and again, I think this is still just continuing the same prophecy. I have my suspicions that chapters 40 through 64 are all just one big prophecy, but let us read. I also want to mention that this video does have a Joseph Smith translation in it. What the Joseph Smith translation is, this is an inspired translation or correction of the Bible done by Joseph Smith to restore those passages that had been lost over the years. Chapter 46. Idols are not to be compared with the Lord. He alone is God and shall save Israel. Bel boweth down, Nebo stoopeth. Their idols were upon the beasts and upon the cattle. Your carriages were heavy loaden. They are a burden to the weary beast. They stoop. They bow down together. They could not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. And even to your old age I am he, and even to whore hairs will I carry you. I have made, and I will he and I will bear. Even I will carry, and will deliver you. To whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we may be like? They lavish gold out of the bag, and weigh silver in the balance, and hire a goldsmith, and he maketh it a god. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear him upon the shoulder, they carry him, and set him in his place. And he standeth. From his place shall he not remove. Yea, one small cry unto him, yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and shew yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old. For I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executeth my counsel from a far country. Yea, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted, that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. I will place salvation in Zion, for Israel my glory. A couple things here. So, Bel and Nebo. These are idols. I'm pretty sure that they are Babylonian. I know Bel is Babylonian god. I believe Nebo is as well. And all they say that they stoop and they bow together. They could not deliver the burden. Because remember, even though Babylon conquers, Israel, conquers Judah because of Judah's wickedness, they in turn are conquered by Persia. And that's what God is pointing out here. Saying, look, these, these gods can't do anything. Sure, you were conquered, but that's because I did it. And they're going to be conquered too because they can't do anything. And I love that, you know, they, they make their, you know, try to compare me to idols. Idols, you make them out of gold, they can't do anything. They can't move. They can't talk. Look at me. I can conduct these battles. I can, uh, I bring, I will bring in, when it says a ravenous bird from the east, this is talking about the Persian conquest against it. I'm going to bring in a new foe to take down Babylon. I can tell you how things are going to end before they even start. How can you compare me to an idol that can do nothing? Now, there is a Joseph Smith translation here in verse 7. So, in the last clause there it says, Yea, one shall cry unto him, yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. And Joseph Smith just corrects this to say, Yea, they shall cry unto him. So, just pluralizing it to clarify that this is the entire nation of Babylon crying unto these idols, but they are still unable to do anything to save them from Persia. Uh, not a major change, more of a grammatical correction than anything else. Let us leave that one here, and we'll see you in the next one.